So I'm Dylan Cuthbert. Uh, I directed the Tomorrow Children, or I'm still directing the Tomorrow Children, and I work, um, or I run uh, Q Games over here in Kyoto, Japan. We're an independent studio, and uh, we make um, some pretty interesting games. Uh, this is our latest. The uh, player here is uh, showing off some of the combat in the game. There's these creatures you can find out in the islands, and there's uh, big creatures that come and attack your town. Uh, you can build turrets, um, which anyone can use in the game, who can, uh, which lets you destroy the the uh, Isberg. Here's some Isberg right here. Uh, firing away at it. Uh, when you destroy the Isberg, when they fall over, they convert into a mineable resource, uh, which you then can all work on to, to collect stuff and take it back to the town. Here's one that fell over. And he converted into uh, this sort of rock material. And here she is digging away at it. Uh, oh, I'm flying around. She has a jetpack. So you can you can hold multiple tools and things. And um, as you do stuff in the game, you earn ration coupons, which lets you buy more and more interesting things. There's a uh, Russian doll there, a Matryoshka. Um, those you take back to the town and that's how you restore the population, like the real human population. You are a projection clone and so are these other characters around town actually. Uh, this policeman here is a projection clone as well. Um, and they... Uh, basically you're tasked to restore the population, the lost population of uh, the planet Earth, uh, which is all melted down into this void that you see around the town. And all these things that come out, like the Isver, the monsters and the, the islands, they all are born from that void. They're sort of born from the consciousness or the subconsciousness of, of mankind. Uh, here she's uh, restored a few of the humans to, uh, to life. And she's going to make something on the workbench here. So this is a little puzzle you solve. Um, and it lets you build things, basically or craft things. And here's a hover car, and the hover car is uh, a lot of fun to drive around in. Now obviously there's a lot of people in one town, so maybe you know, maybe there's 40 or 50 people in the town, uh, and you can't, you probably don't have enough resources to build that many hover cars. Uh, so, yeah, you have to kind of share uh, the tools and things that you make. Here's someone else in a, uh, a tank style hover car there. And now she's back at the town and she's repairing these buildings that have been destroyed by the Isverug. Um, and there you can you can repair them together, of course. Uh, just a little, you know, it's a little mini game uh, that you play. And uh, I think uh, the collaboration here is actually pretty interesting. You know, when you're collaborating, you appear in each other's worlds. And um, here she's using void powers to build a bridge across the gap there, so, so she can start digging. She's digging into the the wall there. And here she's flying around, just showing sort of one of the weirder islands which is this sort of weird whale uh, which is kind of a cool island and there they are digging for resources mining uh, materials um, you know you can dig your own tunnels and, and walkways and stuff and, and make your way through these um, huge islands uh, and there's like treasure boxes to find and here you know she's found a, a Matryoshka, a Russian doll and uh, they're finding lots of you know, they're cutting down trees and chucking wood around and stuff. Um, so in the alpha, a lot of the players went kind of crazy. So uh, here we're just showing you some of the stuff that they did. <laughs> um, it's a very flexible sandbox. You know, you can do anything you want in it. And uh, as you can see, people really did do anything they wanted in it. And this is all user constructed. You know, they just started putting down these blocks and they're building bridges and trying to build as high as they could go you know trying to break our system which is good you know we wanted them to try and break our system uh here they kind of built this tv room <laughs> and, <laughs> and they yeah built the walls and stuff and uh, stopped anybody uh being able to get in there uh here uh if you get a parasol or an umbrella from the from the one of the shops uh, you can use that to float down from these very tall places Sort of our Mary Poppins mode. A lot of people are enjoying this. More people than we thought actually uh, like this uh, Mary Poppins uh, thing. <laughs> and uh, I have to admit, I like it as well. Uh, as you can see here, they built up quite a long way. And she's uh, going down, uh, floating all the way down like that. Um, while you're floating down, of course, the other players can see you. So uh, they'll want to try and mimic that, I think. <laughs> 
And uh, I think, yeah, that's uh, the end of uh, this little explanation. Thank you.